What's up, Dilly gang? Dilio coming to another video right here on the Dilio T2K channel. And in this video, I'm going to review my favorite plugin of 2020. And I call it the Drake plugin, but the actual name of the plugin is called Underwater. All it is is a low pass filter plugin with a few features that are very useful. It doesn't do a lot, but what it does do, it does very well. And it doesn't have a lot of extra crap in it. Plus, I get a little bit of comic relief from it. So I'm going to take you to the screen and we're going to dive in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like button. Show some love. Oh, I am showing the wrong screen. We're going to try that again. Okay. What's up, Dilly gang? Dillio coming to you with another video doing a plugin review. This is both for Mac and PC. This is my favorite plugin of 2020 for a lot of reasons. The first reason is the comic relief. When I saw it, I was like, what the heck is that? But what it does, it does very well and it doesn't do a whole lot. There's tons of plugins out there. There's no shortage of plugins out there that do everything. But this plugin, what it does, it does it very well. It's a very simple interface that's very easy to automate if I were to use this in Studio One. And it's actually easy to automate in the MPC software, which is what I'm using. So let's go to the screen. And I'm going to show you this thing. So here it is. <laughs> you have a picture of Drake and, and, and or, oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's in the likeness of, I don't even know if you could even say that. It is a plugin that looks like you know who. And uh, if you if you see me make beats on it, you know, I'm about to put that Drake on it. I'm about to put that Drake on it. What does that Drake mean? That Drake means that filter sound. So I'll give you an example of what it sounds. So we're going to break it down. Now pay attention because you're about to see <laughs> you're about to see this picture of, of someone that looks like Drake cry. So I'm going to turn on a beat. Okay, so I got a beat on right now. Turn that beat down a little bit. And when I activate this plugin, just look what the plugins does and listen to what it does. Here we go. <laughs> now Drake crying. Why is he crying? The joke's kind of old now, but you have to be there at the live stream for it to make sense. So what's going on here? So this is a plugin. <laughs> he opened his eyes back up. This is a low pass filter and you have these different type of poles uh, that are that provide a different type of slope as far as how it cuts off the filters or the frequencies. You have a little bit of a kind of like a haze thing and then you have a, actually a high pass filter here that actually filters out the lows. So and also you click the hair, you get to change the color. So you want Takashi 69 hair, black hair, gray, blue, yellow, all that. Uh, if you click his face, it is uh Oops. Well, I, I understood it as if you click the face or somewhere. There it is. I don't even know how I did that. But if you click somewhere in the face, it bypasses the plugin. And as you turn the filter, if it's all the way open, you don't hear it. So let's just go over it. And I'm going I'm to kind of demonstrate live to you what this plugin does. I, I love it. It didn't cost that much. It was only like $12. And when you want to just kind of get that Drake sound, that underwater sound. Of course, there's tons of ways to do it. This plugin, I already have plugins. I already have plugins that can do this. I already have plugins that can do this. But just the simple effect of it, that's the simplicity and then the cultural relevance to it and the comic. What sold me on the plugin was the comic relief. I mean, the, it, <laughs> so let's, I'll just play it for you and just show you. So we got to be, now as I close the filter, you're going to hear it and watch the water. that filter effect okay now what happens is if i hit this knob right here it's going to put a high pass filter and cut it at 80 hertz so you notice that the 808 is not really you can't really hear that, that low end in there but if i turn it off hear that low end come back in you, you have to have some subs or something to hear this to to really understand the difference and then you can add a little bit of drive here kind of gives you a little of that that compressed almost like that rate almost like that overloaded radio that I can uh, I can bypass it yeah like that I like that sound if you want that distorted now redukes I don't find any use for redukes I don't redo I don't look at it See that I don't I don't understand that's not a buffer underrun 
I don't I don't have I don't have any use for this, this redo. I don't have any use for that. I don't I, it looks cool, but I I don't have any use for that. But I think it's kind of like a a bit reduction, but that drive, I'll mess with that drive. And Oh, and look, you got more gra if you click on the on the graphics here, you got some uh animation you can turn it on, turn it off. And you can change the zoom size. So if I want to blow this up like really big so you can really see it. You can see it, and as you can see, as you turn the filter, you can see a graphical representation of what's going on. So let's play it, and let's let's look at that. Phenotan. I don't know. I'm probably not even saying that name right. So I'm gonna turn the drive down. All right. Now look at what the filter's doing. It gives you a good representation. Now look what happens if I try a slope of 12. Look how more gradual the slope is. But what I like about this plugin is the sharp slope. Look at that, hard, almost almost a brick wall. We really want to cut out all that stuff. And that point, I let go and let that, the low end flow through. Boom, look at that. The low end is now allowed to come through. So now you got all that low end coming through there. So you do that and then combine it with halftime, this is what you get with halftime. So now we got all that low underwater mush, and now you can do those, you know, do those Drake vocals on it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And then you come back out of it and open back up, and now you're back on here. So we're back again. But I love that it gives you sort of a visible representation. If you want to see that, just click on here on the name. If you don't want any animation, you can turn it off. Which is good. I mean, it just does what I want. It just does enough. It just does enough. It works. It's fun. It's simple. You, you, you know, you get a few laughs from the first time you do this. If I want the animation to come back, I can turn it on. You got the zooming options here. If I want to go 200% and really blow this up, I can. So this is good in case you like how like in case you like to make beats on an 8K screen. This this probably be the only time it would come in handy for you. But uh, I like I like 150, probably maybe 125. But this really makes it easy for you to see. You can bypass that, come back out. There you go. Put half time on it. Put the filter on it. And you kind of use your ears and figure out what do you like. Yeah. So that is the underwater plugin. I, I really like it. I think it's a fun plugin. I think the price is right. Um, if it was more expensive than what it was, I'd just have to live without it. But as far as the price, the price is right. And again, you know, I didn't, and I'll, and I'll, and I'll get a shout out to Abe because I actually saw it on his channel. And I'm like, I didn't even care. I just went straight to the link and I clicked it and, and downloaded because I was like, okay, it's a it's a filter because I saw the filter now. Okay, and I just just the Drake picture. It's like, how long is this gonna last before like Drake's team does a cease and desist order? This obviously, if you look on the the Thunderton website, there's no affiliation whatsoever. But it does provide a commentary and it does provide a relevant fix or a revenue solution to so like I said we got all kinds of filters and there are there are crazy amount of filters built into the NPC and I love that but just having a plugin that can do that now if I just want once I just want to do the little little filter thing on the beat because that's what we're doing now it's with the kids like as I say you know it's, it's fun so that's that's my review of that plugin hit the like button subscribe to this channel let me know what type of content you want to see on this channel I do remakes tutorials original music all kinds of things. I'd love to hear from you and see what you'd like to see on this channel. Or let me know your feedback. Are you going to go get this plug in? Are you going to wait? You don't think it's worth your time? Let me know in the comments below. I'm out of here, and I will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.